take you through a series of progressions of three main movements which are going to help you to learn your Cossack lunge, which is effectively a deep position lateral lunge shape. So we're going to build this off competency in two main positions, which is going to be our lateral lunge and our deep squat. And that's going to help us to transition in and out of the deep shape that we find ourselves in. So to show you what the movement looks like, what we're going to do is stand up, take a wide stance out, and then the Cossack position is going to come through as a start to move the knee over the toe, allowing the back leg or the straight leg here to rotate. And I'm going to sit in to this bottom position, and that's a deep range in my Cossack, pushing back out, keeping the knee over the toe. And I can stand back up and we can repeat either side. So to build that pattern together, we want to have a nice bit of competency into a deep or into a, a wide lateral lunge shape. So it might not be to start off with that we're able to go all the way to the floor, but you can work through some positions to start to feel a bit of confidence of dropping into a slightly deeper shape. If you feel comfortable in there, you're going to finally get to the stage where you've almost got to allow yourself to sit into that deep single leg position. And that's going to be very similar to what happens in our deep squat. If you think about the shape that I'm making here and having the competency and the range of movement to hold this position comfortably, all I'm doing in my Cossack is effectively having that one leg out to the side. The mechanics around the hip, knee and the ankle stay very similar as that deep squat. So spend time coming in and out of that deep squat position. You can just do some mobility work in here, build that lateral movement and that confidence in the lunge shape. Now to build it all together, we can use a little bit of a final tool of assistance, which is going to be a weight or a counterbalance. So I've got a weight vest, which I'm going to use. This could be a backpack or a dumbbell or a plate or something that you've got just to allow yourself to hold um, a little bit of counterbalance forwards. What often happens when you drop into a deep Cossack shape is when we, if we run out of range of movement in the ankle, we can often find ourselves falling backwards into a deep position. And it's quite difficult to stay forwards. So we need plenty of range of movement in the ankle. So if you need to work on that, you can find a corrective program in our um, lower body foundations course, which will help. But if you're feeling ready to move into full movement, take the counterbalance, we're gonna hold it out in front, go through, set yourself up into the wide shape, take the balance, sit yourself over, allow the foot to rotate as you sit in, and then push back up, and we can then go on to the opposite side. Dropping in, allow the foot to rotate, and then push back out. The ideal in that position being, as you stand back up, that we are keeping the legs straight, so we can start to put some reps together, striding out, sit in, drive hard off the outside leg, back into the middle, onto the opposite side, and we can bring those hands out. Once we've left the counterbalance position, just to provide a little bit more support if we need to. That is a progression towards our Cossack lunge. So build a lateral lunge, get confident in that deep squat position, use a counterbalance to help you learn the movement pattern, and then you'll be straight into doing it unassisted for your Cossack lunge progression position.